Welcome back to the channel. We are here April 1st, and it's going to be the breakdown for DraftKings April 2nd uh, basketball slate that we have on Friday, Good Friday, 10 game slate, absolutely stacked card from beginning to end. Let's hop into tomorrow's slate, starting at the point guard position, 7K and below. You know how we do. And we're going to start off with Theo Maladon, uh, the point guard for the OKC Thunder, stepping in for SGA and uh, Ty Jerome, who's currently out. Uh, he might play tomorrow. We will see on news on that. But since Maladon has stepped in, um, and the price increase has gone up to 5,800 from 4,900. Uh, you see some, a little bit of consistency here. Um, 31 DK, uh, 43 DK against Boston, T taking advantage of his opportunities. He definitely can score the ball. You're looking for the peripherals, the assists and the rebounds, which would be, you know, definitely bonuses in that. In his stat sheet, the steals are there as well, at least one or two. So this young, young guard right here has the potential to have a nice day going up against the Phoenix Suns. Obviously a very tough um, team to go up against, but Thunder are a very feisty team. They tend to stay in games and they should even cover the spread. We will see because uh, that's the type of team that the OKC Thunder are. I like Maladon at the point guard position. Next is going to be Kevin Porter Jr. at $6,500. Um, they boosted him $500. But this man has some high, high potential. Uh, you've seen, uh, you know, 10 days ago, well, 10 games ago, um, he really, from 3,200, he gave you two back-to-back, -back, 42 bombs uh, and a 47. And even when he was uh, high priced at 68 and 7K, he gave you a 46 and a 45. So you see the potential there. John Wall has been in and out the lineup. And if he is, even if he's in, uh, Kevin Porter Jr. is definitely going to take a ton of minutes and a ton of shots of uh, trying to facilitate that offense for Houston. Uh, he's going to be a big, big focal point for them and is the youth movement that they're going with uh, for the Houston Rockets. I, I really like his prospect as well. Um, so 6,500 is a st very nice price going up against Kevin Porter, going up against the Boston Celtics who struggle on the defensive side of the ball. I don't know what is going on with that team. Now they're under 500 team. So it's, they're just going through the motions. Boston has fell, uh, very, very far down in the Eastern standings. Um, Gary Trent Jr. at small forward is going to be the next guy at 5,600. You know, ever since being acquired from the, t um, from the, Portland Trail Blazers. He has stepped into instant minutes and more shots than what he's been taking in Portland. Obviously, he has to share with Dame Lillard and McCullum, but Gary Trent now alongside with Van Vliet. Hopefully, Kyle Lowry will sit, but Gary Trent is going to be that starting small, uh, small forward and shooting guard for the Raptors. And this team plays horrible defense, so the shots are going to be there because they're going to be trying to catch up from behind. They're in a real, real big, big rut. But Gary Trent has came over and taken taken 36 minutes, 38 minutes um, for his new team, knocking down some threes, three of seven and six of 11. Very nice shooting percentage from the outside arc. So 5,600 is still a plenty of meat on the bone for Gary Trent Jr., uh, next, we're going to look at Danilo Gallinari, small forward, power forward, power forward eligible with John Collins out for a week. He is stepping in um, in that role, taking advantage of the minutes like he did with OKC, where he was a starting power forward. Now um, he's getting some big minutes with the Atlanta Hawks going up against New Orleans, uh, New Orleans Pelicans, who might be without a couple main, main guys. Uh, Brandon Ingram missed the game today. Zion missed the game today and Lonzo Ball. So if those three guys are going to be out, um, Atlanta is definitely going to have a very fun day going up against Pelicans defense, especially Pelicans youth. And if they're in, then we're looking for more um, a competitive game that these guys can you know stay in and rack up some points, maybe get even to some overtime. We will see. But Danilo Gallinari at 5500 still um, a very low, low price because he was a 6K player, and now you're get him, getting him at a little bit of a discount. So I like him at 5500 Next, we have Robert Williams, who's been you know out the last game, but now he should be back against Houston. Um, he's taken over since Daniel Tice has been traded and some injuries um, for with their bigs on the Celtic side, but he really stuffs the stat sheet 
definitely get you rebounds. Assists is there. Blocks is there. Steals are there. The points, not really, but everything else, he tends to clear, you know, really gives you that 5, 6x type of value at that 6,700 price. Hopefully, we're looking for, uh, you know, a 40 bomb coming soon again, like he did against Milwaukee. Um, that would be more predicated towards a double double, which I think he could do. Definitely going up against the Houston Rockets, who are, are a small team, a very young team. Don't don't have much size, like the type of athleticism and big that they have over here with the Celtics and Robert Williams. I think you take full advantage of his uh, new minutes. Uh, and last but not least, we have Isaiah Roby here, 6100, uh, one of the young guys for the OKC Thunder. Um, putting in some nice work, um, back to back games, 34 minutes, 32 minutes, uh, seven to 12 shooting and five for 14, uh, a double, double the last game against Toronto. Cause they are a poor, poor defense. And then, uh, against Dallas, almost another double, double 37 and 34 DK, um, at 6,100. I think he still can get you there as long as he's putting in this type of work and this type of minutes and the production is there is very, very vigilant. You see it. Um, with the increase and with the injuries that the Thunder are facing, okay? So let's look over if we find some similar value in the guys I just spoke about on DraftKings. Now on FanDuel, we got Roby at 5500 Um, He is going to be way cheaper on FanDuel, so I like him at that price. We're going to put him over there. Um, Next guy we're going to look at is going to be Robert Williams. At the center position at 6600 He's a little more expensive. No, no, he's not. $100 cheaper on FanDuel. I like him there, especially with the peripherals. That There's more bonuses on FanDuel with the blocks and steals, um, that type of scoring. So he's he gets an extra boost uh, playing on FanDuel. I like him there. Gallinari is going to be our next guy at 4900 compared to 55 so you're saving 600 bucks here. I definitely like him with the, the injuries that Atlanta is facing and an easier opponent in the New Orleans Hornets. Uh, next, we're going to look for Gary Trent Jr. Uh, for the Toronto Raptors, 5200 Nice, decent price. Cheaper. On Fanduel of four hundred dollars, so I like him there. Um, Kevin Porter Jr. Um, at six K cheaper than on DraftKings, so you get you're getting a lot of value here. So Fanduel could be the wave tomorrow with all these higher price guys on DraftKings and cheaper guys on Fanduel, um, and then you could pay up at other spots, get you a nice stud because there are a lot of games tomorrow. And then Theo Maladon is fifty eight hundred, same price. Um, as is on DraftKings, uh, young point guard, but definitely is producing and taking advantage, um, of, of these new injuries. Uh, no Al Horford. So that, that's a boost to Isaiah Roby as well. Let me know how you feel about tomorrow's core. Obviously, the core looks better on FanDuel compared to DraftKings because you're saving money and I'm leaving you 7,800 average for the rest of your lineup on FanDuel. So that is a huge, huge plus. You can pay up and get you a nice, uh, point guard, shooting guard, whatever elite top tier guy that is going to be available on tomorrow's slate. Pay you up for a Giannis at Ted and Kumbo. It should be in a, a very competitive game. Going going up against the Portland Trailblazers. Um, let me know how you feel about the the core. If you think you might have another idea of someone else, comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MessageSD. And I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Peace out.